EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line with the Arizona Cardinals. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun is Minshew. And incomplete to open things up. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. From the gun, Minshew to throw. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Isaiah Simmons. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Fair catch called for. No gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. No return, but it goes down. It's just a punt of 31 yards. And the Cards will take over. First and 10. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. They'll roll him out right. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Second and two. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. down Drake again and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up no game it looked like he was trying to bounce it outside but no success yeah sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot and trying to get it outside the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down and now Murray's going to set up to throw. And this one caught by Max Williams. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. A very early momentum changer there, actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down, felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively, and then they got hit with that big play. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. 
A first carry now for Chase Edmonds. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. The ball carrier. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. On second and goal. Murray, he's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. It's Larry Fitzgerald from Kyler Murray. And the Cardinals have taken the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Now left side on the swing pass. Five yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. His pass complete to Chris Thompson. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. Minshew sets to throw over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find his tight end, Josh Oliver, and it'll bring up third down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Minshew. And Eifert has it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. First and well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. A first carry now for Thompson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Jaguars nothing. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the ground, it's Thompson. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Jordan Hicks. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. No gain on the play. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing on second down, Minshew. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target, and it's third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Minshew. And this is going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only one so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. On for the field goal, a 56-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. We have to be thrilled with that first drive that got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. On first and ten, here's Murray. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Throwing on first down is Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Murray's pass. Seven and yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. Fitzgerald's got it right side. Murray's that down. catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. This is Drake, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. He needed two. He got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. On fourth down, here's Zane Gonzalez for the Cardinal field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now, if this was a clear day in September, I'd say this is well within his range. I feel very confident about this kick. But let's be honest about it. In these elements, the difficulty level gets ratcheted up by at least a factor of five. So the missed field goal, and now they're in great shape. They'll start at the 38. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Man open is Keelan Cole, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Minshew, first and ten. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chanel. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. This is Chanel on the receiving end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 24-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. 
Minshew with a throw caught by Eifert, the tight end. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Again, Minshew looking to throw into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off, and this one will be brought back to the 22. They'll take over first and 10 at their own. After the turnover, here's Murray. He'll buy some time right. He'll try and run it. Murray fighting, lost the football, and the Jags grab it. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. And it ties the game at seven. Turn. Here's Edmonds. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The football going back over to Arizona now. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. you got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. Murray now on first down, sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together, could get into field goal range. Let's see what happens. Throwing again on second down. Murray looking middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, Murray. Throw left side, complete. That's Drake. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Murray now on first down. Caught left side, Hopkins. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. First down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half.
first down, Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the Jaguars' 33-yard line. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven our score. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. They'll start the drive with Drake. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Right back to Drake. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. On first down, Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. At their 48-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. K. LeVon Chason showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. After the sack, you could understand it maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish, but he looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No game. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. A second and ten, fourth coming here. Third quarter action from Jacksonville. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Shotgun now for Murray. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Jet sweep. Here's Fitzgerald. 
And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. A gain of three, second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Out of the gun, here's Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Drake. It's a loss of two, now third down. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun. Murray rolling to his right. He may try and run for this. Gain of nine that time on the scramble. One yard shy of the marker, and it brings up fourth. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Gonzalez's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 right at the 30. And he'll drop here to throw. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now left side on the swing pass. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, Minshew to throw. On the slant, this is Chark. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Minshew on first and 10 to Thompson on the screen. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. 
It'll be Minshew again. He's got it complete to Thompson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Out of the gun is Minshew. Connection made with Chenault. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So on now is the kicker, Josh Lambeau. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And Lambeau will put this one through. And we are all tied here in the final stages. Now we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got a two-minute warning to come up. Are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? Turn, here's Edmonds. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Murray to throw. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes the catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. To throw is Murray. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Ooh. 
Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Back to throw, Murray. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Drake. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They'll run with Drake. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Bro, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the face mask gets him a free 15 to start the drive. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Running from the shotgun with Drake. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Behind the chain, second and 12. They stay on the ground with Drake. Today's final so it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.